All right, love, you ready for the next one? Yes, I am. Okay, last question. I'm really having a hard time wanting versus being together. Is it really when you are together that there is no romance? Oh, I know. The bubble face was fun, right? The bubble face was fun. It was <laughs> everything that you needed to get you in the journey. And then once the repellent happened, you can't meet them in that energy anymore, my love. I would say this is better. The peace is better. The oneness is better. The connection of being able to internally merge in your oneness as opposed to what society said was love, right? Society said love was conditional. Society said love was filled by someone externally. And this connection is simply being so whole with you. And when you share your experiences with your soul, it feels like you're literally by yourself and they're with you because that is you. There's no romantic energy between us. When we're together, we're being. I do feel unconditional love and it's a different energy, but those energies of desire, want, need, right? The clingy energy, that's, that's way past what we are. Because if I still had those energies between us, I wouldn't be able to sustain our peace. So no, there might be some sweet moments you'll hear. But when you hear them, you got to give them away. You got to give it back and send it back to the universe. You can't ruminate on it. You can't. And the, every experience you have with your soul everything, my love, every one of you, whatever you've already experienced, if it's past, you let it go because we let go instantly. It's past. I know it's beautiful. I know. I know. It's past. This now moment is all that matters. And I am going to be in this now moment. The bubble face is gone. And that bubble face was just so that your soul could shake you up and make you realize what you really are. The bubble face, if it continued and continued and continued, it would have been just a regular soulmate connection. So if you are seeking the romantic energy, you're looking for a soulmate. When you are being with your person, it's being. It's being. It is the oneness of, I just told Elizabeth this, I get, couldn't get into my house because I, I took off the key because it, it is, um, I, I wanted to keep the car on because I wanted the heater on and I took the key and I left it in the house. So I couldn't get in the house. And so my person was in there and I couldn't get in the house. I called him. I called him. I got in front of the ring. I know the ring talks to him, nothing. Right. And I was finally, I was like, you know what? They're my soul. I went within and I said, Hey, <laughs> I need you to wake up. <laughs> Because he couldn't hear any of that stuff. He was asleep and his phone was turned off. I couldn't get in the house. I said, I need you to wake up. We're waiting for you outside. Like, we have an appointment to go to. And he woke up so fast. He went downstairs, got outside. And I told him all that. And he's like, you should have just did that instead of call. <laughs> but that's the oneness, <laughs> love, right? The oneness is not even voice. The oneness is not even call. It's not, this is why we tell you there's nothing to do. It's all be. That's this connection. This connection requires no words. It is an internal interconnection. You're not, you're not going to meet your person through the romantic happily ever after. You are in heaven. Heaven's better than the fairy tale. Heaven is now. You are going to be with your soul in the now. With your soul, you can't meet them with an expectation of being fulfilled and filled. When you are them, they are you. You are one. This is how I look at it. It is literally like asking yourself what you want to do together. Because like you always said, Joanne, this is the purest form 
of being with you. Okay. So I have my example for you guys. So we've had company for the last two and a half months on and off. We've had company. I've gone on vacation. It has just been crazy. And, um, my kids are going to be gone for Christmas for two weeks. And my person and I talked about like, what do we want to do? Do we want to have a theme for us? Cause it's just going to be the two of us. And yesterday watching my daughter's Christmas performance at school. And there was like this light bulb came on and it was like, uh, what do I want to do? I want to sit in pajamas, Christmas pajamas all day long and just watch movies. I just want to sit and be all Christmas long. And so I ordered some Harry Potter pajamas, matching Harry Potter pajamas for us. I, ma- <laughs> I ordered matching knees and matching socks. And I came home and I was like, I made an executive decision about Christmas. We are going to be in Christmas pajamas, Harry Potter Christmas pajamas. And I just want to lounge in front of the TV all day because that's what I want to do. And he was like, okay. Like, mm-hmm. whereas before when I was asleep, it was like, what could I have done? What kind of feast could I have put on? What kind of intricate, elaborate presence and this and that? And there's not that anymore. There's not that anymore because we are one. I don't, I don't feel the need to do that. And I don't feel the need to receive that kind of um, back and forth with him anymore either. Like before mm-hmm. I would have craved what presence am I getting? I don't need that anymore. I don't even think about that stuff anymore no. because it, it it's just a difference. Like you said, Joanne, it's just this oneness that is so intense. Now, that's so beautiful and so pure, but it is just like being with yourself and that special mm-hmm. connection you have with yourself. You now get to share alongside someone else. There's no expectations. You have no expectations of yourself. You have no preferences mm-hmm. for yourself. You just choose what brings you joy. And that's something you get to share with someone else. Everything that brings you joy brings them joy. It really, it's, it's magical, but it's not the kind of romantic. I need to no. get flowers. I need to give them. I need to do, it's not that Mm-mm. kind of romance. It's a, what brings me sharing in that joy and that oneness. Like, because you chose you and chose what you wanted to do, it's not push, right? Two years ago, years ago, what did they want to do? What would make them so happy? What gift, what elaborate gift can I people please myself to with my person so they can know how amazing I am and how much they mean to me, right? The meaning is replaced now through the being. The way the mind fed, was fed before Now it's how my soul is fed. What brings me joy? What brings me peace? What is putting us in a place where we get to just be? That's the shift. You shifting. You're shifting from the desire and the want and the need for it to look a certain way. And now you're just transitioning into this place of I need nothing from you. You need nothing from me because we are each other and all we are is appreciating this now moment together. I don't need it so much that even if you weren't in this now moment, I would be so good. I would be okay. I would be so good that I'm loving the moment, this moment. Like, I love it. I love it. I love it. My person is now working from home. And you would think I love that, right? He's home. I have access to lunch dates and all. No, I I don't even want to go home. I told him, I don't want to plan anything together while you're here. I'm here. I got my own thing. You got your own thing. And I'm so excited. I'm drooling just thinking about all the things that I want to do, right? And that's the energy where you are magnetic to your soul because you are so busy. You're so busy loving you. You're so busy choosing you. You're so busy being. This is better, love. Shift from the desire. You have to shift. Look at the scale of consciousness. Desire is below anchor. Desire is want and need and you're lacking, right? You're lacking them that's push i can't meet my person through that energy they are me they're me i don't need them i want nothing from them 
I just want to be. And they happen to be right there too, because we are one. So you need to find out why mine still has desire and shift. It's not going to happen overnight at all. This is going to be an internal shift to work through the scale of consciousness within you. How do I work my mind's need for this physical person and work my way to the place of I'm good, whether they're here or not, because they are me. I am good. I am my soul. They are me. I need nothing because I am everything. That's the energy. Your oneness, the peace, without the romantic stuff, it's better. It is better because the mind is trying to understand what this is. And this, my love, is soul. This is how it is to be with your person is soul. It's oneness and being. It is enough. And it's beyond words, beyond what the mind can fathom. It's being together, right? Together because they're there, but you're just being. You're being. And it's enough, loves. It's enough. The PJs with Harry Potter, that sounds so bomb. That sounds like, <laughs> that sounds like amazing. Chocolate with marshmallows in the mix, too. <laughs> yes. That's, that's Christmas. Christmas is being like, I don't even know if I, I was just telling Elizabeth, I don't even know if I want to see family or when I'll see family. It was like, I just want to chill. I just want to be all of the things that we used to want mind, right? Wanted it's, it's now it's just, how can I find more time to be? And how can I find more time of solitude? Because if you think about it, my loves, that is your soul. Your TF is your soul. If you're craving internally, (laughs) that's what you need to do. If you have desire that's craving your other self, you have to crave that solitude from within. That's how you channel and that's how you shift. Why does mind still have desire externally? Let me go within and fill that void from within. And I'm going to be whole and complete. I'm going to feel so good. I am soul. Soul is enough. I, that solitude that I told you when I get excited to be by myself, a person can't be away from me because I'm in the vibration of me. I'm like pure soul mode. I'm like, ah, I just want to be by myself. Why are you here? I always say that. Why are you here? Like, get out, get out of my space, get out of my place, get out of all of my stuff. When mine, all that we wanted was them. You see the difference now? The difference is you've learned how to love and be by yourself so much that your soul has no choice but to be with you. You can't meet your person through desire. Go within and internally shift the place that you are whole, complete, and need nothing from your person. That's soul. That's freedom. And that's where your soul can meet you, my loves. We love you guys. Bye. Bye. 